have never been done before. Yesterday on the show, we talked about Donald Trump making threats against Jack Smith. And since then, he decided he's going to make it more explicit. Now, that bleed, so that's a video, we're gonna bring up the actual bleed, is from MAGA.com, which he doesn't seem to have a problem with the fact that they're calling themselves MAGA.com. He rebleeded that on Truth Social, making a threat that we're not afraid of them. We're gonna do things to you that you wouldn't believe. That's Insane, apparently he did actually say those words. This is not a case of like AI or whatever. He said those words on Rush Limbaugh's radio show three years ago. He was discussing Iran. Now we can have an issue with that in that particular case or whatever, but that clearly is not the context that it's being used in or that he wants it to be publicized in here. And I just want you to imagine Obama or Bill Clinton or George W. Bush Posting that sort of video on their social media, it's to me utter madness. Look, it's not the only reason that we're talking about him right now. His trial date has been set, we're gonna discuss that. But Brett, you weren't here for the last threat of how dangerous it will be for Jack Smith if they lock up Donald Trump. So do you think that the threats that he's making is something that we should be talking about or should we ignore them? I mean, it's a, yeah, this is a tough one for me because I, I think it's a matter of whether you accept this level of discourse from people who represent the best about us. Theoretically, um, the country should take itself quasi seriously. That's is, I, or a, a certain level of seriously and not do stuff like this. Um, I, I don't like it. I mean, I'm not gonna like tell him to take it down because it's a threat of violence. I think those are just like, those are just hard to prove that when someone says you f with me, you're gonna you know you're gonna f around and find out that could be metaphorical or literal, uh, or you know violence or you're gonna lose an election. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's more par for the course. And so in developing your messaging campaign, you got to message around it. I mean, I'd rather have just in a certain way, I'd rather have something like this from a from a a politician than like a canned, well worded response that's like. <laughs> You know, America should be nicer and better. But I think that's the kind of false mm -hmm. choice a lot of us are finding ourselves in when, like, there are people who can accomplish the forceful messaging without sounding like political tools. Yeah. Yeah. Or without sounding like they are, they find the idea of political violence acceptable. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.